For the first time since 2007, the Magnolia State was able to hoist the Mississippi Alabama All Star Football Game trophy. It's been a long time. You talk to all these kids and these coaches coming into this game on Saturday afternoon here at the Rock. They wanted to win for Mississippi. They wanted to win their final game here in the state of Mississippi, playing high school football. Sure enough, they did, and they went out on top in a big way. Oh, you feel great. Um, everybody talking about the class of um, 2016, especially our deep front. And, you know, first time in Mississippi, we got the win. Yeah, it's ecstatic, man. Real happy, very proud of them. You know, me, you know, going out there, giving it all I got, the whole offensive line, whole team, basically. All the raw talent we got up there, you know, we're just going to keep on progressing and getting better at the next level. This is historic. You know, first time, like I said, for, like I said before, first time here. And to just be on this staff, it's my first time being on this staff. Uh, you know, I'm just honored. And the kids came out, we had a great week of practice. And, you know, it wasn't, wasn't a whole lot. These guys understand how to play the game. That's why they're here. And the highlights of the day were from who else but Oxford's DK Metcalf and Starkville's A.J. Brown. The two were co-MVPs for Mississippi. And even throughout the entire week, DK, who's the Ole Miss commit, was staying in A.J.'s ear throughout the week saying, hey, keep Oxford in mind, keep Ole Miss in mind going forward in your recruitment. I talked all the time. Uh, I texted him before I came down here. Uh, I was like, where are you going to school? He was like, I'll talk to you when you get, when you get uh, down to uh, Hattiesburg. You know, we just been talking, but you know, it was about the game. You know, trying to figure out our game plan. You know, we had to make plays. That's what we did. Making plays was, was like, was like who's going to make the most plays or whatever. So I was going to try to, you know, I was going to try to outdo them or whatever. But it's our friend, our love, so that's all. Those two hot commodities going into National Signing Day. We already know where DK is going. AJ still up in the air, but there were many hot commodities playing on this field Saturday afternoon at MM Roberts Stadium. It's only going to be the beginning. National Signing Day in about two months. We still have much to figure out on the recruiting landscape. Reporting here in Hattiesburg, Robbie Donahoe, WCBI Sports.